Andy, this is uh, one of your portfolios, the Echo Force. Could you tell us a little bit more about this particular machine? Yes, this is uh, the Echo Force TI-13-2040. stroke The name means 1,300 newton meters on the spindle, and 2040 refers to the pallet size, so 2 by 4 meter. This machine is basically made up of a, a number of proven uh, modules from our other product ranges. So we have the, the column and the Z -bed, Z bed, they're taken from our uh, Echo Force range. The table is taken from the Echo Speed range, just with different gearbox to give us uh, the emphasis being not on speed, being on uh, drive power cutting force. And then the head we see dancing around behind me, that is taken from our uh, Starag product range from the STCs. So they've got a two axis head here, AC kinematics. And of particular interest here is we've got a mechanically driven spindle, which means we can keep the spindle short and squat. Uh, the pivot length is from center line to the spindle nose is only 220 millimeters. So very, very short. We can get very close to the table, very close to the parts, short tools, stable cutting conditions, exactly what we need for titanium. So the solution uh, to a customer for this type of machine, is it very much that they're cutting harder metals? It's machine, as the name said, it's intended primarily for titanium parts. So large surface parts, things like bulkheads, uh, stringers, etc. That sort of stuff that we're aiming at. And obviously this is very unique to a, a customer, but do you actually produce a lots of other specific machines for different customers? This is uh, the first of a series of machines. This is actually the smallest in the family. We've got here two by four meter. It does go up to 2.5 by six meter pallet size, but the same uh, tool side, if you like. And uh, the idea being there are different size parts in uh, titanium. We want to cover that, uh, all those uh, opportunities. And when, when you look at the uh, future for selling this type of machine, w w where do you sort of see selling more of these into? Well, say titanium is traditionally a, a military aerospace uh, material. But as we've seen with the latest models from Boeing and Airbus, there's more and more titanium coming into the, the business. It's the, the natural cousin of uh, composites because of the, the expansion factors. And one thing that makes uh, Starag very different is that you do invest in, in the heads and the spindle builds yourself. And the component comes first, then the spindle, then the heads. Yeah. Is that really the philosophy? Yeah, that's basically the philosophy. We always start with the application and then we select the machine from the portfolio and all of the options to basically satisfy uh, not only a specific cutting uh, application, but the machining application and, and itself. And uh, you know, that's uh, the focus of all of our um, working, really. Yeah. And what sort of message would you give to the market? Anybody in the world who's uh, having complications machining hard materials, what's your message from Starag? Basically, we've got all the expertise to manufacture titanium, in this case, or uh, aluminium. Anything that goes into an airplane, we can basically manufacture it. Well, thanks very much for your time, Andy. My pleasure. Thanks a lot, Mark.